I got palm trees, I got stuff, all kinds of trimming to do. The reason I got this one is because it's not just a pole saw, it's also a handheld chainsaw. It has an extender pole that you can put inside so that you can reach areas you never thought you could reach. There's no gas, there's no fumes. It's, it's a tenth of the noise of a regular combustible engine, ch engine chainsaw. All you do is put a little bit of oil in the little uh, bar and chain oil um, slot on top and that lubricates the chain. Other than that, pull the trigger, it's on, let go of the trigger, it turns off. Lots of safety features built in. I yep. love the two-in-one because like I said, sometimes you need to do a job right in front of you. Right. And sometimes you gotta do stuff that's way up above you. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, you know, that's an option and you know, many people have had to decide, do I want a handheld chainsaw like this or do I want that pole saw? This is a great opportunity. Anytime we can say two in one, I think that's pretty nice. Oh yeah. So why don't I demonstrate how well this works as a handheld chainsaw? And then the other nice part is I can go from a handheld chainsaw to the pole saw in about 10 seconds, which is pretty nice. So we've got it all ready to go as our handheld chainsaw. I'll show you that 10 inch bar and chain. I'll go through that again, but let's see how this is gonna work. And the nice thing is you'll see how smooth it is. And we've picked a pretty nice size limb right there. Guy, what do you think? That's at least a four inch Look at limb, that. I would think. And it's, you, you saw that it nice smoothly and cleanly, it'll go through that limb. And I always like to show that, that I'm, I'm not holding on to this with any extra strength. You're not no. fighting with it. It allows you to have a nice smooth cut, which is maybe the most important thing. So watch as I just let the saw do the work. I don't have to do anything but let it work its way through. I mean, and that is a sizable limb. So if you're interested in cutting firewood, this is gonna be perfect. Anything like that, it's gonna be great. And remember, this might just be the perfect time of year to grab your pole saw chainsaw because as we move into the winter, so we're gonna be in the fall, and when we say fall cleanup, here's what you're gonna be doing, cutting down those dead limbs, cutting down those limbs that are close to the house that could potentially cause trouble as we get the heavy snow and the heavy rains through the winter time and it gets really close to the house. Pull, pull out your chainsaw, cut all that stuff back so you don't have any issues with the roof and the windows later on. So a perfect time to get your chainsaw back. So Guy, why don't we show how we can go. This is the best part, watch this. You like this? Yeah, we're gonna switch it out. Now well, we've got a job that's way up above our head. Sure. We never get on a ladder with a chainsaw. <laughs> Let the professional, if you got a job that's that high up, don't do it. But if you can use the pole saw, which I use more than anything else, all you do is disconnect. Pete, take us through. Yeah, so you disconnect right there, and now I'm going to use the part that's, that's our powered part, where it's plugged in. I push that together and snap that toggle down. Then I go up to the top, and I'm gonna take that, push this together. You can see it automatically lifts that, snap that down, and we are ready to go. That's how simple and easy it is. Then we have the collar right here where I can extend this fully. That's the best. <laughs> this, it's a little warm. Yeah, it's a little warm today. <laughs> it's been today. sitting in the sun for about an hour. Yeah, it's hot out yeah, here. Yeah, so you can extend that pole. So the pole by itself is just under eight feet. And now, with me holding this, I can reach 10, 12 feet in the air. All right, I'll go right there. And again, you lay that on there, and it does a great job, just wow. like that. I'm gonna go to the other side. Same thing, just lay that saw on there and you're set to go. You always wanna have this at about a 45 degree angle, which is where we're at. And the nice thing about this one, so two in one, which is pretty nice, but then you have, let me see if I can turn it this way and show you this a little better. So we have a button right here, so now you can articulate that head and set that position so it's gonna be the easiest for you to reach out, up and over at a nice angle, because you never wanna be directly underneath right, the branch right. you're cutting, and that allows you to do it. So some of the other particulars, I know everyone's wondering, Guy, including you, 10 inch bar and chain, we have that automatic oiling system, you mentioned earlier, all you have to do is keep that bar and chain oil in there, a little window, so you know there's oil in there and it's gonna automatically oil that bar and chain. I like this, this has the toolless adjustment. So while you're using your chain, or your chainsaw, that chain's gonna become a little bit loose and this is the ability to adjust it. You just wanna make sure you have the right chain tension and that allows you to do it without any tools. Actually, I was using mine that I've had for many years from Earthwise. Yeah. And Mine, you actually need a tool to do that chain adjustment. So this is Same, much easier. Yeah, mine too, mine's yeah. older. I've had mine for about four, five years maybe now, probably even yeah. longer than that, I've had mine. My brother Darren lives up north and he's got a house up in Vermont and he, and he does a lot of his own landscaping and he's like, guy, greatest thing you've ever bought me. Because I use that That's thing right. all the time, we absolutely love it. 
Um, you know, he cuts firewood up there with it. Um, you can take down any kind of branch. We use it here in Florida for a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the um, palm trees because the, the fronds are constantly need to be pruned. Um, you, a simple uh, adjustment and now it becomes your handheld chainsaw. And I'll show you that whole thing, how to switch it out in just a bit, but it is for my money for $79. I paid $129 for mine. Yeah. I paid $40 more for mine. I mean, we've been yeah. talking about that guy and I before we bucks. came out here. It's a great value. I mean, if it was just a pole saw or just the handheld chainsaw, yeah. it really is a nice value. But I like that you're getting both because now you don't have to choose. Sometimes you like to take down those larger limbs and now you can cut them to size and now you can have them for firewood. But think about all those limbs right now. You know, here in Florida, I have two big oak trees in front of the house. Yeah. And I have to call someone eventually to clean out all the upper parts of that tree. But the great part is, I don't have to do it every year or even every other year because anything that's close to the driveway or close to the front door or the kind of like the windows of the house, I can reach it with this. So now rather than having someone come every year, I can put that off more and more by using this chainsaw and the handheld. Did you want to have a go? Yeah, you know, so, and if you don't want to break it down, you don't have to. If you feel yeah, better. So you were going to use that. Yeah. Yep. If you that feel makes better. Sense. And I don't know if I can get here like so this. So what I've done is I've shortened it all the way. It's still the pole saw, but now it's shortened as much as possible. So if you have a little bit of intimidation about using a chainsaw or a pole saw, you can be further away from where all the action is taking place by using it as the pole saw, I love which mine. is a good option for everyone. But if anyone's intimidated about ever using a chainsaw, I find this is the least intimidating chainsaw we've ever had because it is so easy to use. There's a lot of safety features involved, which I can show you. But you I mean, just finish easy. that piece, you, yeah. you let go of the trigger, it stops. It won't let you reactivate the chainsaw unless you go through the same steps on the, uh, the safety features as yeah. well. So one thing I can show you, you know what, I'm gonna break it down to that handheld and it'll, it'll give us the opportunity to show you all the safety features a lot easier. So again, so quick to change that, just pull it apart put the pole there. Now watch this. I just snap that together, click that in place. I love it. I mean, you can really do that in seconds. I, I use mine a lot like this, but but it's funny. It, it's, it depends on what season it is. I keep right. the pole part on um, when I'm doing um, trimming of the taller, you know, palm trees. You got to trim those things all the time. Exactly. Otherwise they fall down in your grass and you got to move them that way. So, and, and the, the key to a healthy tree is to get rid of all the Right. The extra trees that are out there. Guys laughing because we put the fires out, but it apparently still seems like we're on fire. Yeah, out here. yeah, we are hot. It's hot I mean, out here today, but we're doing <laughs> all right. But I will tell you honestly, especially ladies out there, if somebody told you you can't use a chainsaw, let me tell you something. Prove them wrong because there's n this is a chainsaw anybody can use. I don't care if you're small stature, tall, thin, doesn't matter. You know, you know, a lot of people sit there, oh, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be a big husky guy to, no, that's a, Not bunch at of, all. that's a bunch of bull. You need to use this because a lot of you, you know, like, like I, I say, maybe you're living alone. Maybe, maybe uh, your partner is gone and you wanna be able to get out there and trim your trees. You can do it. And the money you save, one day of a landscaper being there for two hours is at least $100. Here they charge you usually by the tree. Yeah. And it's usually 40 to 50 bucks a tree. I would say easily. Maybe you more. were talking about that with the palm trees. If yeah. you have, you know, seven or eight palm trees. Oh yeah, you'll go three hundred bucks. It, it, they'll be there. They'll be there an hour, and they'll charge you three hundred dollars. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I've had it with those tall oak trees. If they came to do all of the work, it's six hundred dollars. But I wanted to show you this so you can feel better about using this. If you've never tried a chainsaw, this is one I recommend because it is easy. So the first thing is, you if you go to pull that trigger, it's not going to operate. Now I don't have this one plugged in, but it won't operate until you also hit the safety switch so you go safety switch and then pull the trigger and you're set to go but one other way we wanted to make this safe is that this has a chain break so when you look at this right here this is the little knuckle guard area but if I pull that back it means I can operate the saw but if I want to fully lock it out you push that out and it completely locks out the chainsaw if you use safety switch and the trigger it will not operate until you pull that chain break back in so that again is a great feature if you're gonna walk away from it at all it's a great way to go yeah, I love. Did you explain the oil part of it too, Pete? Yeah. Yeah, so you, there, just in case you joined us late, there's a little valve here that opens up. Right. And you can buy this oil at any hardware store. And it'll Absolutely. say bar and chain oil. Yep. And what that does is it slowly trickles into the chain to lubricate the chain. And that's the key to keeping it running smoothly. I also, once when, it, when the power is off, 
I'll take a screwdriver and if I see any bits or pieces, I'll scrape those out of the way. Cause you know, this chain goes, circulates inside here. Right. So all you do, and you can see if there's any debris there, just, just scoop it out with a screwdriver. It's easy to maintain. Other than that, Pete, yeah. when you look at a regular chainsaw, first of all, regular chainsaw is a combustion engine. It gives off a lot of fumes. It, you gotta put gas in it. You gotta mix, sometimes you gotta put specialty oil and mix it. All these things, and, and it's heavy duty. And listen, if you need a professional chainsaw guy to come out and take down trees, hire right. them. But if you wanna manage and maintain and manicure your property, this, I'm telling you, you can do this. A lot of people, it's, it's like the first time, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you ride a bike. I, I'll never be able to ride a bike. Then you get out there and like, wow, that's not so bad. This is actually exciting. You get, you use this and you're like, wow, that's, that's power. It I feel good about that, but Pete. it's power that isn't intimidating, which is nice. So should we head back over there and we'll let's cut go some back, more? Pete. Hey, back. Pete, let's go back in the sun for a minute. Well, it wasn't much better over here. Let's it's go definitely back in hot. The sun, Pete. Is summer over, guy? No, it's hot. <laughs> no, it's hot. definitely hey, not. Hey, at least we wore the right colors. Yeah, did we? Your shirt's changing color. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice Sorry, over there, I but know, we're kind of right in the sun. Yeah. But again, so we have a smaller limb here, but I want you to see this. It definitely is something that's not intimidating. I, I know that everyone can handle this, and I know we, you know this. We have so many calls from ladies out there who have never used a chainsaw but felt really empowered and comfortable using this. So you'll notice how smooth it is. <laughs> When we go through that wood, you don't have to do anything. You barely have to move the saw. Just let it move its way through that wood. Look at that. I think what's so cool is what you'll notice that there's not a lot of shaking. There's not a lot of kickback. There's very little vibration. And you can make those cuts over and over again. All you have to do is add that extension cord and you can definitely do this. You have a lot of control with this. Uh, Absolutely. And, and I think it's because it's not heavy. You know, a regular chainsaw can weigh 30, 40, 50 pounds, depending on the size sure. of the chainsaw, easily. And we wouldn't be talking right now because no. 